Yeah, tough game. Uh, cup semi-final, which you expect. Um, our credit to, to Derek and his boys. I thought they, they gave everything to the contest. And, uh, you know, we had to match it today. The conditions, you know, weren't great. Uh, the pitch is not in great condition, which is disappointing. Um, so we knew it was going to be a battle before the game started. And, uh, you know, again, it's it's credit to the boys and, and this team that, uh, you know, doesn't, it's not all just about the football. There's a real desire and, and willingness there to overcome any challenge. And uh, they did that today. Yeah, I don't know if it was back backs against the wall. I just thought it was it was a battle. You know, it was an arm wrestle. It was it was a cup semi final played in uh, trying conditions where you know we were never going to get open space or be able to play through them because the, the conditions and their application to, to their game plan uh, didn't allow us. But yeah, you know, you, you, your ultimate goal and, and ambition is to overcome whatever you need to do out there, and this team has consistently done that. That's why we're in this position of you know. Um, you know, we rarely lose because whatever was thrown at us, this, this group of players and, and, you know, as a collective find a way to get the job done and they did today. Yeah, desired, but, but I think, you know, it's, it's all part of it. It's discipline, structure. I mean, you've you got to make, be really disciplined in those kind of conditions because it's very easy to, you know, to do something rash. Um, mistakes are going to happen because just the nature of the contest and, and, like I said, the conditions presented before us. So, you know, it's how you react to those mistakes. And I just thought we were really... You know, focused and concentrated. Um, you know, Joe made a couple of great saves, which you know we haven't needed him to do uh, <clears throat> at all. But you know, he delivered. And at the other end, you know, we 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 created the moments we needed to 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 get the goals we needed. I don't. I mean, I, you can't control the weather here in Scotland. That's almost impossible. But I, I, I'm disappointed with the state of the pitch. I thought that that would be better. I mean, it, you know, you. you you know when you come to Hamden, it's, it's a showcase event and you kind of want the conditions to be the best they possibly can. Like I said, you can't control the weather, but, you know, I, I, even when I walked out before the game, you know, I was disappointed in the, in, in the pitch. There's a game there tomorrow, so it's going to be tough for the two teams tomorrow as well. So um, I think if you're going to have showcase events where everyone's watching and the, the sort of spotlights there, you want to present it in the best possible condition. Now, I don't know how much football they've had on it or you know, what the situation's been, but <coughs> like I said, for a cup semi-final, you want, you want the best conditions possible. I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not here complaining. I'm just saying that no, no, just I, was asked the, I was asked the question about you know, a showcase event and you yeah. want to present everything in the best possible manner. We come to Hampton for big games that, um, you know, I think when you go to, to, to a venue for big games, you just think expect the pitch to be in the best possible condition yeah. considering everything i mean that's that's a great thing we've given our supporters another you know another trip out here for a cup final which <coughs> you know when you start a year that's that's your goal that's your ambition at this football club to you know to be to be present when 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 the trophies are handed out um, to give yourself an opportunity so you know it's great we'll obviously you know park it now because we've got a game on wednesday night but in terms of yeah, you know, what we needed to do today um, was make sure that, you know, as I said, when the, when the final whistle went, we we gave our supporters in this football club another opportunity to, to contest for for um, a trophy. You know, we're still, you know, the, you know, we're still working on things, and um, yeah, you know, we're constantly trying to make the squad stronger, and and you know, I think we need to, and I want to, and you know, I don't I don't want us to stand still at any point. <coughs> you know, I think the three boys. We'll, we've bought in, we'll all make a contribution. They didn't today, but I've got no doubt that, you know, I mean, Alistair's already sort of contributed, but, you know, Tomoki and, and Yuki will, will both be, you know, will add to us and make us stronger. And if there's an opportunity to make us stronger again, you know, we'll take it. I, I want us to take it because, um, you know, for us, it's about ensuring we never stand still and make sure that we're always looking to improve in every aspect of, of, of our football club.